What's up guys, I thought I'd give you a special video today, it is a rampant video and uh, a rampant for those of you who do not know is actually a uh, 20 kill streak in an Uncharted game. So un this is Uncharted 2 of course, you guys might have seen Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. The You have kill streaks, a 5 kill streak, a 10 kill streak, a 15 kill streak and a 20 kill streak. 20 kill streak is the being the highest middle and the, the middle that's worth like the most points and you know is like the biggest achievement kind of a thing. So I got a 20 kill streak in Uncharted 2 just today and I'm going to be uploading this match. I was playing with Dale, uh, Anna Chiva and one of my friends Kibbles. Uh, Kibbles and me actually started playing together since Uncharted 2. So I think before this, ever since I did play Uncharted 2 and I mean only Uncharted 2, like right now I play The Last of Us all the time so I used to play Uncharted 2 all the time when the game was the only game out, you know, before Uncharted 2 and everything else. All through that time, I think I got only like maybe five or six rampants, and that too, not in deathmatch. I think I got five or six rampants in like plunder and stuff. Like I was, and I used to be quite, uh, I wouldn't say quite good, but I was definitely the best amongst my my friends and my teammates, and I consider myself to be at least decent, half decent. So the first time ever that I got uh, the rampant in the deathmatch was uh, some time back. And uh, actually, since I started playing Uncharted 3 and The Last of Us and stuff, I've actually had some, quite a few rampants, to be honest. Which is kind of surprising, because uh, for about one and a half, one year or something that I played Uncharted 2, I just got like five or six. And then after that, I just played like a few games here and there, now and again, and I, and I got like five or six just then. So, it is kind of funny. So, this is, I'm using a Skeletor skin, for those of you who don't know, Skeletor is a silent skin. Um, using the AK as of right now, I'm trying to burst rifle. Uh, sorry, burst fire the AK. Uh, the one thing about Uncharted 2 is the guns have some pretty decent recoil. It's pretty good. You know, gun mechanics are really good in this game. The AK has to be burst fired in order to be. If you have to be a fucking beast uh, with the AK in this game. Um, I don't know if you. I mean, if you guys are completely clueless about how Uncharted actually works, you just you start off with an AK-47 and a 9 mm and the 9 meter meter is one of the strongest weapons in the game and you start off with that base weapon. You can pick up another file if you have to just walk around the map and pick it up. That is not a power weapon. The power weapons in this game are, uh, for example, the hammer or the RPG, which is a rocket launcher and stuff like that. Uh, for example, the shotgun or something in The Last of Us is a purchasable weapon. So I guess you can, you, you know, you can kind of uh, say something similar to a power weapon, which is what the sniper rifles and the hammer and the RPG are in HR2. There's stuff that's uh, just kept all across the map. Like for example, the M4 is kind of one of the smaller uh, power weapons, and you know you have to travel across the map in in order to pick them up. So you can't just keep camping at one spot because if you camp at one spot in this game. Someone or the other is going to pick up an RPG or a hammer or something and then nail you with it. So, that's uh, one of the mechanics of Uncharted 2. What I'm doing right now, see, uh, in Uncharted 2 you cannot run. Like, there is no running mechanic in it, which is why everybody seems to keep just jumping around like a bunch of bunnies, and that's why we call it bunny hopping. And for those of you who do not know, I actually made a bunny hopping tutorial for Uncharted 3. Uh, after the bunny hopping fiasco in Uncharted 2, which you can see in this game quite clearly, uh, nobody seems to want to walk anymore. Everybody just wants to, you know, keep on running. Only the level one or level two guys who just come and are fresh to the game are the guys who are just walking, and then they get owned by people who are just jumping on the map, and then they start jumping. On. So <laughs> it, it turns out that there's absolutely no one in the game that ends up walking around. So what they're trying to do in Uncharted 3 was actually try and nerf that. So I made a tutorial on how to actually exploit a certain bug or a glitch and actually can you know still successfully do it in Uncharted 3. So anyways it's, it's kind of a special game. <clears throat> I enjoy I'm taking a break the last because when I say I'm taking a break, I mean I'm not playing it all the time, every time I get on the PS3. Like look at this, this is the first fire. Did you see how far how easily I actually killed that guy? That was a pretty quick triple. Uh, I had no idea. I think, I don't know how, at this, at this point I was really, really scared. I was like, there are three guys on me and I'm going to lose this rampant and I do not want to lose a rampant. I mean, it's really fun, you know, it's, it's quite special. Like, you come in, play the game after like months and months and months and the first day that you play the game you get a rampant. It, it, it's quite rewarding. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think one of the saddest things about Uncharted 2 uh, for me, actually the saddest things in gaming for 
me is the fact that I was never there when this game actually launched. I wish I was there when the game actually launched. Oh my god, this is so close. So close. I would have been fucking pissed off. I would have been crying if I lost at 19 and I mean, you guys saw that I was like, like half an inch from death. Like somebody fucking, there was a gust of air or something and I would have died. But anyways, I made it through that. So I think I got the rampant metal. You guys saw the rampant metal pop up. I'm just walking on the map, just checking what's happening. One of the saddest things about this game is the fact that I was never there when this game actually came out, so that you know I could have a learning curve along with all of the other noobs. I had to start playing along with all of the pros, and I had to start learning when everyone else was already a pro. So you know, I'm, I've missed out on quite a few possible rampants and quite a few other fun stuff in this game. Anyways, I'm playing this game for right now. If anybody wants to join me, please do add me and tell me that you want to play Uncharted 2 and let's party up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's move on.